Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales, and today I'm going to share with you Shopify customer segments, one of my favorite features that released in 2022 uh, that we use for projects. And I want to share with you what it is, what you can do with it, and a little bit more insight and tips on it. Okay? So, what are customer segments? First of all, customers in the back end is just a list of every customer that has either registered or subscribed to your newsletters, and it's in the list here. You can see details if you click on them. You can see how many orders they have, their address, their name, and different things like meta fields if you have additional fields uh, in the back end if you've created. For example, a meta field might be gender, you know. Um, so, what? why would you want to group certain customers in a certain way. So number one, your business uh, requirements want to know more about your customers. The more you know about the customers, the more you can contact them, help them, uh, approach them, sell to them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so business requirements, say uh, you might need reporting, your marketing team might want to run certain ads uh, for certain uh, demographics, right? certain groups, certain segments. Uh, for example, certain people in a certain country, they'll see some ads. People in the other country will see different ads. Different genders will see different ads. Different age groups, different uh, buying habits if they purchase certain products. You'll be able to uh, segment them in different ways and use them in apps, in custom coding on the website, in your theme, and many, many different things uh, you can do with them. It's a really, really good feature, not just to group them and know what they're doing, but also to report on them and to uh, work and make action on them, right? Um, so that's a really important thing. So for example, I created for this video, this is a demo store, uh, real customers. I made, uh, one second, let me go back. Uh, so I have 100 uh, customers in this website. Okay, so I have 100 customers. And if I go here to, for example, uh, segment that I created, I only have 62 out of the 100, which is 62% out of the whole itself. Or for example, I want to see a, a segment of customers that have subscribed to newsletter. I only have four out of my 100, so I might want to do something about that. Okay, so um, wh what can I do here? So if I want to create some new segments, I have some business requirement, marketing requirement, ads requirement, uh, SEO requirements, personalization requirements, whatever it might be, or certain app requirement. First of all, I can go click on the editor bar right here, and I can make new filters, new segments. So if you click here, you'll have a list of all the built-in segments that you can, or the filters that you can uh, do, right? So for example, I want to see here, I want to see number of orders and then at least, for example, at least uh, if it's greater than zero, that means if it's greater than zero, that means I they've actually had one or more orders. You can also have greater than, you can do this, is equal greater or equal to zero, the same thing. That would be basically same thing, simple math, right? And then I click on this, the segment. If I do that, for example, if I go here, number of orders is greater or equal, actually, sorry, greater or equal to one. That's my mistake. Okay, if I click here, save segment, then I need to type in the segment. For example, uh, have orders, just for example. Now when I do that, I'm gonna have a new segment in my list here and I can export them. I can uh, use them in apps to tell my developer to uh, do some kind of coding action. A lot of apps support different uh, customer segments now, at least the new apps. Okay, um, so I can create these and I can create these and I can use them. So let's look at a few things for you to understand a little bit better about this. So number one, if you click here, you can just scroll one by one. You can see all the fields you allow, for example, customer account status or the email domain. For example, I want to target, I want to know all the people that have a Gmail domain, right, gmail.com. Um, have they actually interacted with my email newsletters, the Shopify email newsletters? Um, when is their last order date? Maybe they have an order for like a year and I want to send them a reminder and say, hey, uh, we miss you. Uh, here's a promotion for you, et cetera, et cetera. Now, one thing you can also do is you can actually work with meta fields. So if you have uh, a meta field, for example, in your customer, this is something you've created, a meta field, which you can create new meta fields here in the settings. For example, I'm going to go to customer meta fields. And I'm going to make one, for example, called gender. Okay, gender, and I'm going to make, for example, a drop down. I can have male, female, et cetera, et cetera. I can write it down. Then I can actually target those in my customer segments, right? Customers, and I can actually create one, for example, gender, 
is equal to and whatever it is, right? Male, for example, I can uh, segment. Now, the good thing about these segments is you can actually do more than one field. For, for example, I can do it's male and, uh, for example, their, their country, their number of orders is, um, for example, let's say zero, right? So they're both male and they've never ordered before. And I can do that, for example, okay? Um, so what 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 else do you have here? Um, number one is you have a you have some help if you in case you're not sure you can use and or just like I did before, and you can actually understand better. You can read the documentation. But I I uh, what I recommend to do first of all is to actually use a template. Either you can click here or you can click here. And with the template, these are ones that are very, very popular. And you can click on all or specific one. And you can scroll down. There's going to be a ton of things that you can do. Depending on your uh, marketing requirements or your business requirements, you can actually do this. So, for example, um, if I like this one, customers who have purchased a specific product within a certain time frame. This has, you know, multiple things here, right? It's a little bit more complicated. It looks kind of codey, right? If I click on use this templates, it'll have all this information. And then, for example, I can click here on all these products, okay? And that's it. And I finished, right? So I can, let's say, here, let me do that. So now, if I want to change this, because I use the template, I can change it to, I can ch click on the date here, say, oh, I don't want from January, I want from, for example, June. And I can click on each one of these, and it'll allow me to change it very, very easily, okay? And don't forget, you actually have to Okay, so this is once you finish, you'll you'll be able to see the, the details and you'll be able to see if you made a mistake, for example, let's say I deleted this, it'll tell you, hey, this is not valid because you don't have a full date. So there's an actual validation. It'll tell you if there's some information that you're missing. Maybe you, you added an extra bracket or things like that. But if you're not sure, this is really kind of coding, very, very basic coding look like so if you're not sure always use templates or ask us in the comments we we help a lot of uh, people with uh, questions and we're here to actually talk to you guys okay so um, look at this information use the template start with basic ones and when you finish it you'll be able to see the validation itself okay so let's say okay and we don't have it. Okay, so we have four customers of this. So if you're not sure, let us know. If you have a specific situation, let us know. We'll comment, etc. Uh, that's basically it. You have some undos. If you made a mistake, you weren't sure, you deleted something, you can do undo. But that's it. Use the, the templates uh, and slowly get familiar and read the documentation. You'll be fine with it. Uh, hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, you definitely, all businesses should use segments, understand your customers better. Uh, a lot of apps support, especially the email newsletter apps, um, marketing apps, these kind of segmentation and some reporting apps use it, but more and more will be using it uh, more in the future, especially because this is uh, a new uh, feature customer segments, at least as of the end of 2022. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any questions. Really appreciate you watch our videos. Subscribe if you like it. Share if you like it. And comment and ask questions and tell us what we can do better. Much, much appreciated. Thank you, guys.